All right, welcome back to part two of Kenny and me's small boat inshore offshore fishing adventure. The day when everything went right. Uh, it started off with the weather being perfect. We were using uh, Adam's boat, which is a 17 foot boat. I thought it was a 16 foot boat. No, this is a 17 foot boat, as I just found out last night. Anyway, we um, started off catching some bonito, some bluefish, and then we pushed off. We found some pots, and we caught some mahi off the pots. There was lots and lots of mahi on there, small ones, and uh, I think we caught five before they disappeared. Um, and then I was eating a sandwich, and Kenny almost took me out with his epoxy jig. thing flew past my face. Really lucky I didn't get hooked Jeez. in the face. Um, and then we found a pod of cobia. And took one cast into those pods of cobia and got the biggest one in the school, which was very lucky. Turned out to be a 40-pound fish. And I wanted to release this fish, but we didn't really have a net big enough for it. And we ended up gaffing it, and we ended up keeping it. And I don't know, that was my first New Jersey cobia. First time I ever saw one. And we definitely got lucky on this day. But this is where we're going to pick up right after this cobia. I stepped on this x wrap about the troll. Yeah, it's in there pretty damn good. I had to take the sandal off. It's taking a while to uh, recover from that and the small boat. He took my zoom fluke. He did straighten the jig head even a little bit. Oh, I've got this. That jig head is the money jig head. It's just going to fall fast. It's a two ounce, one and a half or two ounce. All right, we're running. We're going to make a move. Not really sure what we're doing out here. It's hot as hell. We've had a good morning. It's only it's 10:30. And we're just going to like start running back to shore, kind of working our way back to shore this zone like I don't know. We've we've exhausted our resources here, so we're going to go so see what else we can find. All right, we're deploying a troll spread here. We're at like some spot that we like looked at apparently that around here somewhere. I don't know, we're just gonna like troll. Kenny's got uh What do you got? Tell him what you got. Got the planer board with the Clark spoon. About ten feet a liter. No if, if not more. I got the X wrap with the troll sinker, I got like an eight ounce sinker, an X wrap. We're gonna see if the X-Rap runs true. Get us the troll speed. I'm gonna see how this thing looks. Yeah, what do you think? Like five, six miles an hour? Six miles an hour? Four knots right now. Four knots? Yeah, so I mean, this is probably all right. Yeah. All right, yeah, we're gonna deploy the troll spread. See what we catch. Let out a lot of line, try to get it deep. I'll try to jig him. All right, we're getting some bites on the troll here. Oh, got him. He was hitting and hitting and hitting. I got him. That ain't a bluefish. That's a Spanish. No, or is it a bonito? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a Spanish. It's a bonito. Oh, he's swimming into the water. I got a bonito. Rolled up a little beneath her. That's just, just nice, Cap. Nice. He took that thing pretty poorly. He choked it, and when they choke it, that's usually bad. All right. Oh, oh God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, this Benito is certainly dead, so we're gonna keep him. He's lost half his blood. Yep. He hit the X-Rap. They were knocking on it. I'm thinking there was like a bunch of bonitos. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what I was about to say. Because they were hitting it for a while, long enough to turn the GoPro on. And he's bled out terribly. We're keeping the bleeders today. That's the only thing we're keeping. Yeah, if the fish... If the, that desperation color going. Yeah, if the fish is going to survive, we're going to release it. If the fish is not going to survive, we're going to keep it. But everything we're generally catch and release. I'm just gonna bleed them out. We're gonna keep trolling here. Woo. 
Just have my he do. I got that. We got jump. a nice mile. I got the jump. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's a nice mine. I gotta get this truck. Okay. Damn. Sawfish waking as we were trolling. It's a nice mahi. It's a bigger, bigger mahi for sure. Nice one. I'm gonna put the GoPro on. Yeah. Wow. Damn, should have had the GoPro on for that, but like we're just trolling and uh Oh. We were coming up on uh this spot here. And there's like a bunch of boats. All of a sudden we just saw the fish waking and I cast it at him. I thought it was a cobia. Pitched it to him cobia style. It's like a nice nice my Damn, he's, he's biting good. Damn, damn. What is going on today, Cap? Today is the day, Cap. This is the day. Here. Wow, he's fighting really hard, Kenny. Here. Oh, beautiful. He's fighting hard. That's a 10 plus pound. That might be a freaking, I don't know how big that mahi is, but he's big. He's like PB mahi. <laughs> Two PBs. Come on, you. Okay, ready. I'm just gonna. I'll be straightening that Kalen right now, dude. I'd be straightening that Kalen. In the net, look at that mahi, man. Dang, Cap. Dang, Cap. That's a stud mahi. That's like a 35 inch mahi. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Look at that freaking thing, dude. Crazy. 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 That's crazy. Jesus. Alright, we're gonna let him go. I'm gonna let that fish go, man. Beautiful frickin' mahi. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we just, we just, we just like. <laughs> Holy crap. So I'm waking, saw a nice fish, grabbed the rod. I got one more seven inch zoom fluke. And then, We'll have to improvise. Seven inch zoom fluke is the fire. This guy right here. We're gonna put another one of those on if we... Well, I don't have any more. I don't know. We'll probably end up putting on one of these. Some kind of soft plastic. Maybe, I don't know. Last zoom fluke though. I don't, I don't even know what we're gonna do. There's a lot of boats around here though. Yeah. He was, he was hot too. Yeah, he, he was... anything. If yeah. Anything went by him, he was going to crack it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is a big bait for him to be hitting the seven inch zoom fluke. I mean, not really, but. As soon as he saw it, he was all about it. He could short strike it if he wanted to, real easy. Yeah. He hit it hard like the Kobe. Yeah. Right here somewhere. Yeah. Wake City. Oh, yeah. We're prepared. That was a really good fight. Any one of these fish would have like made the day. Uh, it was just a, uh, what is that? Get an epoxy on that thing. What the heck was that thing? Did you see that thing? Huh? I don't know what that was. It was an odd fish, some kind of pelagic fish. That wake I just saw was like the same wake that Mahi was. That Mahi wasn't pushing too big of a wake. Cobia, a big Cobia could push a tiny wake. Yeah, 
says, ooh, we're marking all sorts of shit. Look at this screen. Oh, on the fall. Get that thing. Here. I don't think I just hooked. Get your other hand on there. We should be able to get bites on the epoxy right now. You think? Yeah. I would think. Now you got something. What is that? You got whatever that is, Spanish? Bone? Bone? I think that's what I just saw. Yeah. Bonito. Look, there's one more yeah, there's bonitos. <laughs> oh, 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 Bonito. My rig works. Your rig works, Cap. I wonder how long. I wonder if maybe we're trolling too fast. Well, we just got on them. I'm gonna release them. Yeah, up on top there. Bonito. Yeah, I think I just saw a Bonito on the surface, that first one we stopped on. Gotta throw that epoxy jig. Get some bones. I need another bone on the epoxy. Not the avid. You know what I mean? What? Oh yeah? In range? Oh yeah. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna bond cast. For the boni the bonitos. Hopefully we can catch them. Yeah, throw them boxy right now. Oh, come on! I think it's a blue. Nope, oh, maybe a bone. Bone. Oh, three bones. See him bowing? Damn, dude, we are blessed this year with Bonito. We just need a Spanish mackerel to complete the easy, like we need a Spanish for as many Spanish have been around. Yeah, let's run. See what the next whatever can do. Although you probably think we need some gas. We better put some gas in there. All right, all right. We're gonna make a move. Wind is starting to pick up. We don't have too much gas. And we came offshore pretty far. So we're gonna start heading back in. Well, we still got slick calm water. Wind gets bad, gas mileage cuts down. The rough waters can't go too fast, yada yada. Alright, it's three o'clock, we're back. Phenomenal day of inshore Jersey fishing. Definitely phenomenal day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. I'm gonna enjoy watching. I'm gonna edit, upload this footage and I'm gonna watch it. I still have the sight of that cobia eating my jig playing over my head over and over again it's definitely one of the coolest fishing experiences of my life but now we have some work to do clean the boat get home so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and i'll see you guys next time